brace for a combined situation of the dot-com crash and great financial crisis as Jerome Powell speeds up interest rate hike in a brutal fashion. How Jay Powell can move the market in seconds. Before his statement, stocks are mostly green. At 10 o'clock, one second later, take a look at a sea of red. This is because interest rate futures. Market implied probabilities of a 50 basis point hike. At the March FOMC meeting after Powell's 10 a.m. testimony. Before was 32% after 50% probability. Interesting enough because of this brutally aggressive rate hike announcement actually made long bond TLT higher and short dated bills lower. Check out the yield curve because the Fed controls short dated yield better than the long term bond yield. For that, they need to do some data manipulation. Why you should brace for a combined situation of a dot-com crash and the great financial crisis. I will explain it all right after this. And of course, smash the like button. <laughs> if you want to be my good boy, apply to write your first book with me. Welcome back to the Audacious Money Witch channel where we talk about macro economy, stocks, bonds, and commodity markets. If you like any of these topics, you are intelligent. That's why you're here and you know what to do and push my button if you like what you see in today's video because I can't push it from this side. This video is brought to you by my Patreon. If you are a good boy, go to patreon.com slash magical goddess Cheryl to add more meaning into your life. If you play your cards right and completely submit like my good boys do, then I will take you under my wing. Author of best-selling books, Goddess Cheryl. My good boys always get rewarded handsomely. You are such a good boy. You like hearing that, don't you? Hmm. You want to get it into the bookstore. You want it to be real. You want it to be true. You want to be my client, don't you? Jerome Powell said strong and sustained economic activity to start this year. Could prompt central banks officials to accelerate interest rate increases and likely lead them to lift rates more than they expected to combat high inflation. Mr. Powell's comments prepared for delivery during the first of two days of Capitol Hill hearings on Tuesday offered his first public acknowledgement that a pace of quarter point interest rate increases isn't set in stone. The latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be higher than previously anticipated. Mr. Powell said in the remarks prepared for delivery before the Senate Banking Committee, if the totality of the data were to indicate that faster tightening is warranted, we would be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. We will continue to make our decisions meeting by meeting. Mr. Powell said, although inflation has been moderating in recent months, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go and is likely to be bumpy. Since officials last met on February 1st, several economic reports have revealed hiring, spending, and inflation were hotter in January than expected. And data revisions showed inflation and demand for labor didn't slow as much as initially reported late last year. Mr. Powell said data on hiring, spending, factory production, and inflation partly reversed softening trends seen just a few weeks ago. 
Some of the upswing could reflect unseasonably warm January weather that can interfere with seasonal adjustments to economic data, he said. Still, with the breadth of the reversal along with revisions to the previous quarter, suggest that inflationary pressures are running higher than expected at the time of our previous meeting, Powell said. The Fed has been trying to curb investment, spending and hiring by raising rates, which makes it more expensive to borrow and can push down the price of assets such as stocks and real estate. The Fed funds rate influences other borrowing costs throughout the economy. Mr. Powell's testimony this week will be his last scheduled public remarks on interest rate policy and a final chance to shape market expectations. Before the Fed's next meeting, March 21st and March 22nd, officials begin their pre-meeting quiet period on Saturday. In December, most Fed officials thought they would raise the Fed funds rate this year to between 5% and 5.5% and hold it there into 2024. They will submit new projections at the coming meeting. Several Fed officials have indicated in recent weeks they could raise rates this year more than previously projected. Three regional Fed bank presidents have said they could have backed a larger half-point increase last month or would do so at the coming meeting. The recent strong economic data shifted investors' rate expectations. When the Fed last met, Investors in interest rate futures markets anticipated officials would raise the Fed funds rate just once more this year to a peak of 4.9% and begin cutting it this fall. On Monday, investors anticipated the rate would rise to around 5.5% by mid-year and remain there through the end of 2023. Mr. Powell could face limits in guiding markets this week because two widely watched economic reports that could influence officials' deliberations are set to be released after he testifies and before the next Fed meeting. The Labor Department is scheduled to report Friday on February hiring. Next week, it is set to release its February inflation report. Employers added 517,000 jobs in January, a figure that shocked economists who were anticipating hiring to slow. While the unemployment rate declined to 3.4%, a 53-year low, Friday's labor report could offer clues on whether the gain was a blip or a sign of the economy that is accelerating. After holding the Fed funds rate near zero after the lockdown hit the U.S. economy, the rosy backdrop darkened. Officials lifted the rate more over the past 12 months than any time since the early 1980s. Officials have slowed the pace of increases to see the effects of their moves. Tuesday's hearing marks Mr. Powell's first appearance before Congress since last June when the Fed had lifted the Fed funds rate to a range between 1.5% and 1.75%. A handful of Democratic lawmakers who consistently played down inflation worries in 2021 
have warned Mr. Powell against rising rates too fast or too high. They have expressed concern the Fed leader is too eager to slow down the economy by seeking increases in unemployment. The Fed could stop inflation immediately if they actively selling assets instead of just letting it roll off or expire. But nope, they'd rather let interest rates hit 15% because that only hurts the poor people. If we're heading for a prolonged period of low economic growth, the wealthy want rates as high as possible so they can lock in their capital beforehand. Powell is doing exactly what the top 10% want, protecting their wealth at the cost of the bottom 90%. Prove it again. The Fed is not your friend. Salesforce CEO Mark Benoff was caught off guard by the dramatic shifts in markets and the economy last year. Now he's bracing for a recession that could rival the dot-com crash and the great financial crisis. It will take a lot of years before inflation is put to bed again. We're in a different paradigm. The base effects are running out and we still have a very significant wage inflation. It's not squeezing services sector wage inflation. And services is such a big part of the economy. You can't get consistently to 2% inflation target when you have 6 to 7% wage inflation. Look at the DXY dollar index and move index. It looks like what happened last year is happening again. It's better to look at DXY as an indicator of risk on or off because the trend is more obvious. Stocks and bonds are harder to predict. Now DXY is clearly in an uptrend. It actually went up to 1.26% today, bouncing it back up from 21 EMA. Last year, currency really started to change aggressively. We saw inflation start to come up. The stock market basically imploded, the buying environment changed, and CEOs especially became more measured. Benioff emphasized that he steered the customer relationship management CRM specialist through both the dot-com crash and the Great Recession. He expects to weather the next downturn in similar fashion. The key is that this is not my first recession, he said. I went through it in 2001 and 2002. That was extremely difficult. We had to have an employment action and went through 2008 and 2009. We had the same situation and here we are today. And here is my client Teddy Easy book, Wicked Pussy Perfume. It is a femdom novel, and it's about money, the stock market, and stockings. So order your copy today. And my book, Rainbow Focus. You are such a good boy for watching my video right till the end. Bye.